Okay, let's look quickly at the spectrum of an AM signal. So spectrum of AM. So again, the um, octave for MATLAB comes very handy here. So in this case, um, we just use a fast Fourier transform to look at this. So fast Fourier transform. So how the spectrum looks like. So um, there's just a simple command which is called FFT and you just put in the sequence in it here and um, the output the output is our are our complex frequencies and so to get the the spectrum out of this we just take the absolute value of the FFT and that's our AM signal here, AM of N, because it's sampled. Okay, so let's let's do that. So let's um, get octave back up here. So I've already run our AM script, and that's here. And then, then we just take our AM signal. And I just type it in here in the command window just now. So what we need to do is we need to do the Fourier transform of this FFT of AM signal. And then we are plotting the absolute value of this. So let's have a look how our AM signal looks like. And if we do, there's a very convenient command which is called linspace and we just we just say we would like to have it running from 0 to 1 and um, and we need need to have yf yf um, components of that okay so now we have got this here normalized so in the midpoint is 0 0.5, this is just a mirror here, so we can get rid of this. So if we if we zoom in into this here, so remember our carrier was at um, 0 0.1, normalized frequency 0 0.1. So we see here, this is our carrier in the middle. And then we are creating, having these two nice sidebands here. So the spectrum of AM, so we have seen that so if here is our normalized frequency 0.5 and this is here, here our um, Fourier spectrum of, um, so let's call this, call this here um, AM of capital F for frequency and that's the absolute value that, that we have our carrier frequency FC at frequency 0.1 fc and and then we've got here on the side these sidebands so they are generated they're just um, created from the baseband baseband of our symbol stream And this also shows up on the, on that side. Just to click click the the plot back in here, yeah. So so this is the actual information. These two um, these two sidebands here, how they are how how they are called. Let's just move this a bit to the side here. So they are. So I should should say this is shifted shifted baseband of our symbol stream and these ones are called sidebands.
So now notice, notice here, um, which is, let's get rid of this one here. There um, is a huge disadvantage of this of this AM signal here that the actual carrier FC, which is um, not doing else than just creating a massive peak in the spectrum here, um, and there's no um, information transmitted by this. So the information is transmitted in these sidebands here, and there's no information in the carrier. The carrier would be also there without any modulation. So the sidebands corresponds to our information. And, um, and here, the carrier, so that's our carrier, has got no information. And so we see the fundamental problem of um, AM here that the carrier is huge and um, wastes lots of energy, whereas the sidebands, which actually have the information, are quite small. Um, and so, and so therefore, ideally, what we would like to do is we would like to get rid of this um, carrier FC here and just transmit these sidebands. And um, and this we are going to discuss in phase modulation um, in the next section. Before that, um, a quick summary, and then we talk about phase modulation. <laughs>